What's up, Power Fans at YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about the finale and what to expect based on the teaser. Also, the possibility of Kane dying and Carter, Tariq, and Norman's faith. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, in the teaser for episode 10, we all see a body being carried out, which is obvious that it is Monet's body. We also heard the voiceover of Drew saying Monet is dead because of you. In this finale, we will see blame gains happening among Drew, Kane, and Diana. They are going to blame each other for their mother's death and Drew will probably blame Kane for their mother's death. Now, what's Drew's point blaming Kane for their mother's death? The point is, if Kane had listened to his mother and cancelled this wedding and left Norma, his mother wouldn't have been there trying to save him, knowing that Norma would kill him to get at her should things go left. Monet tried to make Kane listen to her but to no avail. His decision to marry Norma was like the biggest opportunity that he has never got his entire life. Kane was so sure he was going to be at the top if he marries Norma. Now, are you sure you want to do this, son? Yeah. Yeah, Norma's good for me. His ambitions blinded him not to see Norma coming. But yes, it is not out of place for Drew to blame Kane for their mother's death because they know she was on her way to save him. Now, who else can be blamed for Monet's death? Tariq. Tariq was supposed to pop Carter on site. He had the silencer. Cameras were under control. Monet was on standby to help move the body, but Tariq's camp Patrick decided to do pep talk with Carter instead of pulling the trigger. Now, this is the difference between Tariq and Ghost, and why Tariq can never be Ghost. Ghost would have popped Carter the moment he even opens the curtain here. If Tariq had popped Carter instantly, he wouldn't have warned Norma about them. She would have been taken out nicely without Monet dying. So the moment Tariq failed, he potentially exposed Monet who also tried to save her son, King. Now, who else should be blamed in this case? Diana and Drew. In the teaser, you hear Kane telling them that anytime they keep him out of their plans, things go left, which most of it is true. And in this case, if Drew and Diana were to inform Kane about what was going on, Kane wouldn't have been ambushed the way he was. And these blame games will now be on Kane's conscience and his siblings, so they will take a step to revenge ASAP on Norma. And I doubt if they will have a calculated plan of taking Norma out. I also suspect that Tahares will want to move with emotions to take Norma out. Kane knows her routine and can lead his siblings to kill Norma. But then, if he doesn't control his emotion, he will die in the process. Now, if you look closely, he was having this crossfire shooting here at the airport similar to where Norma packs her jet. And I suspect Norma set them up and the police rushed on them, but Kane using his emotion started firing at the police and he got shot in the process. It looks like Drew and Diana were ambushed and arrested, but if you look closely, Kane will be shot on his left hand. That is why we see Diana screaming his name. So believe me not, Ken is definitely going to be hit, but let's hope this time he stays alive. And also, let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, moving on into this finale as well, we'll also find out the status of David's license as a lawyer. They will decide in this episode 10 whether he will keep practicing or not. And if I must predict, he might not get his license back. Why? Because if power aims to set ethical examples with their storyline when it comes to the judicial system, then I don't think Davis will get his license back to practice. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. But I feel in this finale, almost everyone will lose something big. The Tahares lost their mother, Norma will lose her daughter, Tariq will lose everything and so forth. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, let's talk about Tariq and Carter. Now, Carter still has the footage on Tariq and breathing killing Zion. So what I think Tariq needs to do with Carter now is to keep him breathing until he gets the footage. Because right now, Tariq can't kill Carter just like that without knowing who has the tape or what he has done with it. And there is no way they will leave Carter to go as well. So what can they do in this case? Since Efe is the IT expert, she and Braden can get to Carter's house, take his laptop and do some robot skills to see if she can get the footage and any debt on Carter. And getting some debt on Carter will be in Tariq's favor as well as getting rid of the Zion footage. Now, in the teaser, we can see Efe with a laptop that I believe is for Carter in his house. And for all you know, she can find some information on Carter's wife that we never knew. So this is my theory about this scene. Now, while Efe and Braden were fishing in Carter's house, Tariq was the only one with Carter waiting for their feedback on any information. Carter was then pep talking and saying things to Tariq to get him distracted. While Carter was removing his hand from the rope that was used to tie him, 
Then he finally gets Tariq, disarm him, and tie him back into the seat. Carter was then about to shoot Tariq, and Braden possibly came from behind, pointing a gun at Carter. Now we know Braden has still been using, right? Could it be that he'll be the one to take Carter out? Will Braden at this point be like, I'm done playing back and forth and pull the trigger on Carter? Let me know what you also think in the comment section. But I wish Tate will be the one to put Carter down at least for his brother. Let's talk about Norma. Now, in most of my video, I did mention that Tariq still has one huge leverage to use against Norma, and that is she being the killer of her daughter's father. Considering the harm Norma had caused so far, it is time for Tariq to use that leverage to destabilize Norma's camp, especially with her daughter. And it is clear in the trailer that Anya has finally found out that her mother killed her father. Now, this is my theory as to what happened. Tariq drove Anya to confront her mother about her father. He was waiting in the car outside when Anya was leaving in anger. Diana spotted her and started shooting at her, reasons why we saw Norman's security started shooting back as well. And we saw Kane rushing to stop Diana before she get killed. The gunshot was the reason Tariq looked like he panicked here when Anya joined him in the car. And if you pay attention to the car's interior, it looks the same. And I'm sure this incident was the reason Tariq was angry at Diana where he was asking her what she was thinking. But right now, what Anya needs is protection and her own safety and it's only Tariq that can guarantee her that. Because at this moment, the Taharas will do anything to get back at Norma and they won't hesitate to kill Anya when they get the chance. And Tariq is also yet to find out that Monet has been taken out. Well, this is a teaser. You all know I don't break trailers down because they cut them differently to mean other things. But let's see what happens in the finale. I am hoping this finale will get the internet freezing and I'm also hoping to see Ghost making an appearance. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share. Most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.